All right, everyone, in this video, we're going to go over the accounts tab in Tobo. Um, there's a lot going on here. So your accounts are here, all accounts that you have. Say you have, you're contracted with the motor clubs, you have a police account, you have a cash account. There's a lot of different accounts that you can have. Some examples, you can have accounts with service shops, body shops, brokers, dealers, uh, just anybody, you know, you can, uh, have different account types here. You can kind of delve into those on your on your own there. And you can also create tags for um, these accounts. So it's like, okay, so I know this one is always calling me for, you know, PPI, fast toes, patrols, whatever they may be. Uh, you can toggle in inactive, show inactive accounts or not, show call out accounts or not. You've got all your filters over here, so you can kind of choose what shows up in your display here. Say we don't want an address, or we don't need a phone number for the account. Tags, sure, we want tags. Uh, we want to know the balance. Do we want to know any notes, email, contract dates, gate codes, anything for specific accounts? So, so you had like a, I don't know, so you had a, uh, account with an apartment complex that calls you often with cars that are parked illegally. You can have gate codes there. So that kind of shows up and gets in, gets you in there. Um, we're going to go in here and just look at one of them. So in here you open that account you'll be able to see calls. Um, you can, and we'll get into this a little bit here as well. I guess we show you the process. So, in here, you can have a call and say you did a call. You're going to pick a status. You say it's been billed or it's been ready to bill. Uh, once you have your ready to bill, you can go ahead and you can go in here and record a. That didn't like me. So you can say build and then you can record a payment and that don't like me either. Let's use a different account as an example. So let's use this one. And that's an account I just set up on one call I did and it didn't really make any sense. So these I've all, I've gone through all these as they've come in and I know that they've all been billed. So there, then I can go in here and I can say, I need to record payments. So you can record the date of the payment and you go through and you kind of just check each call, you know, okay, did I get paid for this call? Did I get paid for what call? And it'll bring up, like, say you did, you're recording payments for those calls. You'll have a total here. And then you can also put a reference here if you have a check number, or check date, whatever the case may be. And then you choose what type of payment you received up here. Or if you're writing it off as bad debt or it was paid in square, or whatever the case is, any notes that you want on that. And you go ahead and record your payment there. Um, obviously, we're not going to record this payment because we're not ready for that. You can modify the account here, which in the case of the motor clubs, I don't suggest you once you get that set up. Um, and we'll go through setting that up and as well too. But let's look at, let's look at something here in modify account. So in modify account, you have your account information. It's a motor club. It's a Jiro, your billing username, your billing password, which is your login and your, uh, login password. Uh, if the company is giving you their tobook.net address, you enter it there, but normally you give them your information with, when it comes to motor clubs and then they set up their side of it and get your account working in Tobook. You just give them your uh, Tobook email and I think your account number or something along those lines. So you can choose for these different accounts. If uh, business you do there is tax exam, you want to automatically email, you want to disable it, or you require full payment by the by the drivers to complete the calls that kind of doesn't really make sense but what you're saying is you know you click on delivery you type then you have your pricing so you have pricing set up you can set up pricing for these um so unloaded mileage for my roadside is two dollars field delivery on light duty is 30 and you can edit any of these things here um I believe you do that let me check this out real quick so We'll figure it out in a second. Um, you can see your jumpstart services across the board for whatever they might be. 
pricing all set up. I think this is not, I can't edit this because it was done by the motor club. I could set it up based on our contracted rates. Flat discount, if you're doing a discount, storage rates, you can set up for accounts, fuel surge charges. Um, you can set up rules, like you can say, I have a fuel delivery service, uh, fuel delivery, anything you need to specify with that. Uh, say I have a tire service. The weight is something that you may need to set up. Depends on how your business is, is structured. You can set up all those items. You can, if you're doing impounds, you can set that there. Tags, if you want to add them. Users. Um, this is like if you're enabling a new user for the account, which probably won't do any notes for that account. Disclaimers. I have a disclaimer that I put in here, and I'll show you how to do that. Um, it's the default disclaimer, so default PO numbers if you want. You can set up default storage, default, default asset body types. Since it's roadside, it's all usually light. Um, then you can set up global settings for this account. So hide charges when printing for emailing receipts. Um, you can set up your mileage. You can set up calculating mileage. Include deadhead miles. Options for calculating it, shortest distance, fastest time, optimal. And this is all going to be how Showbook calculates the direction for your driver when they go to the call. Um, they'll invoice mileage quantities, use company default, uh, emailing, square stuff, required fields by, for completion by driver required for completion by dispatcher. I don't have anything set to required that way. We don't really have to do anything because most of the calls that we do come through a motor club and we just get all that information already put in there, whatever they're going to give us, they give us. Um, so in that way you can kind of see accounts and how to modify them. You can generate statements for your account, selecting the invoices that you want to include in the statement, create a statement. Um, Go back to this account here. Uh, you can record payments, which we, sh we showed you. You can send emails. So you can from here to wherever regarding that account. You can add notes. You can upload files if you want to put a file in here that re relates to this account specifically. Or say you want to create a new call for this account. You can do that there. Um, we're looking at a zero here, so we're going to do, you can sign out from dispatch. Wouldn't suggest you do that if you want to receive any calls. And then you also can see what your outstanding balance with this current account is. Um, and that will change as, you know, things are, let's say, for instance, I know that everything except for that call have all been billed. So while I'm here, we'll just stick it over there. Um, and you can see build unpaid so also if you click on here when you're in here if you need to make a change to anything here you can um, modify it and it'll pop up give you the window that you've seen before a few times now so you can modify that account if you need to make any changes here or anywhere within the within the call um, cancel that you can click the email receipt you can delete it um, highly not suggested uh, you can see any photos or, or videos that went along with that account there. You need to pull them up. And then you also mm -hmm. have the option uh, with most things here, you can export anything from Tobook into Excel. Uh, or you can print and you can just print to a PDF, whatever you want to do. Um, let's see what else we got. So then you have submissions, which we don't have any because that's not how we're structured. We do in invoices then you can see payments that we've recorded here um and you can see files that have been recorded or saved with this account and i think that let me get back to accounts here make sure i don't skip anything out here um you you can add an account you can prepare and send statements so choose an open balance start date retrieve invoices and that shows you what 
all your accounts what's open. Um, when you do that, you can create a statement. And you can print that said statement. We'll just look at this so you can kind of see what it looks like. Uh, we'll keep it rolling. Uh, it's going to bring you there. And I can go ahead and put that in the correct folder. And then we'll just take a look at it real quick so you can kind of see what it looks like. So it will give you a statement of, uh, of accounts here. And it's going to give you pretty much some detailed information on all the calls that were associated with that there and you'll see where you stand on that and it's broken down between uh, different companies and allies nsds um roadside protect whatever it may be depends on which accounts you have you also can see a revenue report here and it'll give you let's just look at the day today so revenue report for the day at this point is uh, 302 and you can kind of tweak that you can say revenue by driver update well Darren's only made us 30 bucks and Justin's gotten us 272 or you can look at the truck you can look at the payment status invoiced impounds you can kind of break it out and again you can work to Excel um oh, right ahead of ourselves revenue reports you can look at open balances here um and, and past due hey. and you can kind of see what you got going on here you can re record payments for those accounts you can print statements uh whatever you need to do um and then balances and then you can go in here and you can send an email choose which accounts to send it to making me over here so i don't know why um pretty highly unlikely you're going to be sending emails to your accounts from here just it's not how we use email but it, the options there of course you can yeah. export you can print gives you a total overview of your balance with all these accounts and who owes what when and where um and that's a rough of a view of the accounts and how they work always if you have questions make leave a comment below i try to answer every single question myself personally um if the video brought you any kind of value at all and you want to like and subscribe that's cool if you don't i totally get it um there's a link if you click the link i get a free month of tow book and you get to use some of the coolest towing software i've ever seen thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next video